Where are you getting your news? Where? Oh, yeah, I'm getting it on Facebook. Eh. Oh, I'm getting it on Instagram. Eh, eh. No, okay? Y you have to research. And look, at we got lives. There is so, How do you get research out of Facebook when there's only 144 characters? The problem is Facebook has done a lot of damage to a lot of families, a lot of friends. I've experienced it because when it came out in 06, I got on it. And I use it for comic relief just to mess with people because I kind of know how to push buttons, you know? Hard to believe. But... Um, so Facebook has caused a lot of issues, and everyone's getting their information from Instagram or whatever they're getting their information from. And the problem is there is no one source that you can really find out the news, the truth. Because really, it's like, like for example, the Chronicle Tele Telegram. It is so obvious in how biased they are. It's almost like I laugh at it now. I, take, I don't take them seriously at all because that's how biased they are. For example... I did not get endorsed this week. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I didn't get endorsed. I think, Marty, you hope you don't want to get endorsed. And today, uh, not today, but on uh, Wednesday, uh, Demacia got endorsed over, over Marty Gallagher. And I'm thinking to myself, that's a home run. Why do you say that? Well, the Chronicle Telegram in, 20, um, in 2010, they endorsed Tom Williams' opponent. Tom was running for the first time. So the Chronicle endorsed his opponent. Tom Williams won. In 2014, they endorsed Tom. Tom lost. His opponent won, which was Matt Lundy. In 2020, I ran against Sharon Sweeto. She lost. I won. I wasn't endorsed. Jeff Riddell ran against Matt Lundy in 2022, and Lundy got the endorsement, but Jeff won. See a pattern here? In 2016, I was the chairman of the uh, Donald Trump presidential committee here in Lorain County. I was the campaign manager. And I, I turned it down three times, so my buddy said, yeah, will you uh, help me out? And I says, okay, you're going to suck me back into politics. Here we go. So in 2016, I became the chairman and a delegate for Donald Trump's election efforts. And I got involved uh, again in politics, and I decided to run for the Ohio Republican Party Central Committee just to see if people remember me from years ago when I was a commissioner the first time I did it once and thought I'd never do it again. And so in April of 2016, I remember I get this phone call. Well, there's a story in the editorial section, and this was back when Andy Young was the editor of the Chronicle-Telegram. And he does this dissertation because at this point, uh, Donald Trump was looking like he was going to be the candidate for the, uh, well, because it was in March, he was the Republican nominee for 2016. And he wrote in his editorial that it is his job as a newspaper editor to ensure that Donald Trump does not become the next president of the United States. In the meantime, things were getting released in the campaign, and my name popped up. My name popped up in regards to being a delegate. My name popped up as being the chairman. And so I got a phone call from Brad Dickens, who was the uh, junior editor at that time uh, for that, before Andy Young decided to retire. So, I, and I've known Brad for, at that point, probably, you know, about 15 years. I get along with him. And so he calls me up and he says, hey, hey, Dave, how you doing? You know, I go, hey, great, Brad, I haven't talked to you in a while. What's going on? He says, well, you know, we're trying to, t I want to talk to you about this, um, the fact that you're uh, in the Donald Trump uh, campaign. And I says, well, first of all, I need to say something to you. And he goes, what? I would like to say thank you to the Chronicle Telegram. And he just looked, he, you could tell on the phone, he's like, okay, which he knows, and most of these guys never know what's coming out of my mouth anyway, which is how I like it, because I don't even know sometimes. So, and he goes, okay, what's that mean? I says, well, I read your story, on the editorial from Andy Young. And I appreciate the fact that how honest and truthful that you are probably the only newspaper in the country that admitted that your job is to influence the election and stop the election of Donald Trump in 2016. Oh, we got a little heated argument at that point about whether or not newspapers, you know, that's the editorial section. It has nothing to do with the news because at that time he was a reporter. And we went back and forth. And I was like, no, I, 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 I kind of respect you guys. You guys drew a line and said, look it, you know what? 
we're basically an extension of the Democrat Party. Boy, then he threw up, oh, Dave, that's not how it is. He goes, well, that is how it read. When a newspaper comes out and says that it is their job to ensure that they stop, uh, stop people from voting for a certain candidate, that tells me that you guys are at least finally going to be honest on who you are. You're an extension of the Democrat Party. So this week, it was kind of, uh, there's been nothing but hit pieces coming out from the Chronicle Telegram. I've, told, I've sent something to um, Daryl, who's the editor at the Morning Journal. I thanked him. And I, and I sent him the Jeff Bezos uh, piece saying, I think, this is, I think the journal's already ahead of the curve. I said basically that the richest man in the world's following Daryl's lead. That's kind of what I told him at the journal. I said, because I don't think people like to be told anymore on what to do. I don't think people like that. I think people would prefer to have information and data so that they can make up their own mind, such as this radio uh, episode or podcast here at WOBL. I want to make sure that you guys understand that I am trying to give you information so that you know who I am. Nobody knows who my opponent is. I try not to say his name because I don't want to market that. So nobody knows who he is. So how do you blindly vote for somebody you don't even know who, it, who he is? Are you that blinded that you're going to vote for a Republican because he's a Republican? Are you that blinded because he's a Democrat and you're going to vote Democrat? Unfortunately, that's kind of where we're heading right now. You know, I mean, there's a lot of people that have woken up since 2016. And you can thank former President uh, Barry Obama, okay? You can thank him because I knew who he was when he ran. I knew who he was. He's, you know, everyone, no one believed me, but you know, everyone said, oh, look what he's doing. He's socializing this. He's taking, the government's taking over our health care. I goes, well, didn't you see it coming? I saw it coming. You know, the guy, you know, I saw it coming. I wasn't shocked at anything and what he did. You know, taking social.